Hi, this is Boynton's 2. And this is a wood mock-up of what I consider to be a hurricane-proof, flood-proof, termite-proof, and energy-saving house. Basically, any house that has been flooded should never be built on ground level. I think we could all agree with that. So you build it up on eight, ten-foot piers, and you build a basically rectangular or any shape house, but it must have a flat roof slightly tapered. As you can see, it had a four foot high parapet wall all around. So a person could be up there and not fall off. On the parapet wall, we mount pipes. And it could be any shape. I don't want it to look like a Quonset hut. It could be more V-shaped. And in this perimeter around here, you put a, grow, uh, a soil box that you grow vines in. And I just threw some leaves up there just to show what happens in a 200 mile an hour wind, which I will simulate with my uh, grass blower. So this is an idea that I wish people would copy. I don't want to make any money on it. I just think it's a, an idea that will keep houses safe energy efficient uh, the difference in temperature between the shade on a roof and sun on a roof is tremendous and it probably be only about 80 degrees under complete shade especially with the living vines trans uh, transpiring humans perspire leaves transpire and so you can grow back the leaves after a hurricane but you don't have to change trusses, plywood, shingles, and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on my leaf blower and remove the lady. And by the way, underneath you could keep your cars, whatever, uh, get them to high ground. A uh, problem, of course, is the stairs, elevator. Take a look at my other video. Take a look at my $100 homemade elevator, and you'll get an idea what can be done very inexpensively. But that's basically it. I didn't put any styling in here. It's just pieces of plywood patched together just for, to show you the concept. Okay, I'm going to bend down now, pick up the leaf blower, uh, remove the lady, and I'll share what happens. Okay, I'm set here. And before I forget, you could put your air conditioner compressor up there. That'll save energy. It'll be in the shade. And you could use the condensate to water the vines. So I'm going to turn on the leaf blower now. It's about 200 mile an hour equivalent and we'll see what happens. Got to get through building codes, whatever. You basically have a concrete box, a semi-flat roof. You do want it to drain. You could put a spiral staircase from the first floor up to the second, up to the roof. You can go up there, recreate, barbecue, enjoy life. Got a nice tall ceiling up there. I think it's time has come. Thank you very much. Boyton Stu.